This prompt took so much thinking on my part. I had to really think about it. And I had to think hard about this. So I was like, I have no idea. Hello friends, happy Wednesday. So very excited that you're here. It is Top 5 Wednesday and it's gonna be another exciting prompt, another exciting day. As I did last week and, and as I think I mentioned last week, the, all this month's prompts are picked by Patreon and channel members and this one is no exception. But in case if you're not familiar with Top 5 Wednesday, in a nutshell, basically each week I answer a prompt using five books. In this case, I do manga to reflect the said prompt. And today's prompt is books you would save in a fire. Now, realistically speaking, we all know if there's a fire, you need to get to safety. But but let's say, let's say your family's safe, your significant others, your kid, your, your pets, everybody's safe. And you have the opportunity, the chance to run to your bookcases, your bookshelves and choose five manga. What manga are you choosing? And I was like, when I first thought about it, I was like, I would choose my favorites. And then I thought, okay, realistically, I was like, how my manga is organized that day is how I would choose what I pick. So that's exactly what I did. How my manga is organized, I do have it like double stacked. So I only chose manga from the front parts here. I told myself if there's a fire, I'm not going to have time to pull out, say, these books and take Play It Cool Guys, which was originally on my list. But I'm like, oh, it, it's in the back. And Villains Are Destined to Die, it's also in the back. That would be another like one that I was like obviously going to choose. And I'm like, well, I can't choose them. And so, which was sort of hard to think about. But I'm like, we're not going to think about that. We're thinking about the prompt. So yeah, I only did manga that were outward facing this way. I didn't have to move any books to get them. I could just grab them and run to safety. That was my plan. I would also say that these are in no specific order or anything. And also I forgot to mention, if you would like to give prompt suggestions, prompt ideas, vote for different manga, get behind the scenes stuff, I have the sign up link down below for channel members and Patreon if you would like to join. Let's go ahead and jump right in. For number one, I don't know why, I felt drawn to this one and that is I'm giving the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness. I grabbed all four volumes because it was easy to grab and volume five should have already been here as of this video going live. So hopefully it is. I really love this series and I was thinking like, well, if there is a fire, regardless of how much damage that has happened or anything like to the house, to my books, any of that, I was like, I'm going to need something light and fluffy. There's just no denying I would need something light and fluffy. And while this series is probably not in, say, my top 10 favorite series, I don't really see this being even a favorite series for this year. I still really love it. Seeing Charlotte grow as an individual is has been very satisfying as a reader. I have deeply loved it. Volume four, we get some of her backstory and it was completely heartbreaking. But even with these deeper emotions and themes that are slowly progressing, like, because it's very light and fluffy, yes, but I feel like Alan, he's really helping Charlotte just come in as an individual, as herself, realizing the things that she likes, the things that she wants to do, and the dreams that she has, and that she can freely pursue those things, gives it much more than just a lighthearted kind of story. And so that was part of why I picked it up, is because if this was only one of the few series I could grab, and all that was left, I would be happy and content being able to reread this series over and over, because that is just how much I have enjoyed each time I've read it. It's not one I have reread recently, but it's still a series I can definitely see. Maybe not a favorite, but I would come back to reread time and time again, just because I love the impact that this series and this story has had on me personally. And I just love the characters. Okay, I love the characters. And volume four ended where you can see the romance is finally unfolding. And I am so here for it. I have two other books, no three other books that are supposed to be coming today alongside Disgrace Noble Lady volume five. I have no idea what I'm going to start next. But remembering how this one ended, I'm like, I need answers. I need to see what's going to take place. Because it's just what they, you think things are going to go like be smooth sailing. Things are not smooth sailing and it makes me laugh. It's, it's so great. It's a very wonderful series. I do have a video review on this. 
So I'm not upset that this was one of the series that I decided to grab because at first I was like, I can't grab Play Cool Guys, can't grab Villains or Justice. I'm like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? But I am excited and happy to be able to at least grab this one. Moving forward, I tried to choose series that I feel like I have reread more than one time because I know for certain I'll reread again and I'll love it again. So for number two, I said The Villainous's Guide to Not Falling in Love. I know I recently just featured this in its own video review and that I did feature in a top five Wednesday, but I recently reread this and I loved it so much. I loved it so much. It's been two, three times since I've like read this very first time. I feel like there's nothing maybe like groundbreaking to this first volume, but I love it so much. And I'm like, if I can't get Villains or Destined to Die, I'm like, I have to get another villainous manga that I really love. And this one is it. It's so beautiful. The art is just wonderful. Like when I was rereading it, just visually, this series, is an absolute feast for the eyes. Everyone looks so... Oh, hold on, I gotta go the opposite direction. Okay, I was like, we're getting into spoilers. But everybody just looks so beautiful, so handsome, and I really love Luciana, I think is how you say your name. She is such a fantastic heroine, and I found her really relatable if I ever was in her shoes, in her position of just being so excited to see these characters talk, what they would say, what they would do, being able to really just sort of Oh, she's not really basking in it, but basking in the thought of like, you're seeing things about these characters that were not in the game. I love how she's treating this though, like real life. Like this is not, this is not a game. She's experiencing real life, real emotions with real consequences. And she has to decide how she is going to move forward. Is she going to navigate this like a game and make similar decisions that the game would do? Or is she going to just stand on her own to feet. And yes, she's going to try and avoid all the love interests, which we all know is not happening. <laughs> she's definitely interacting with them more. So what is she going to do? Basically, I saw this that I laughed because I really love that character. And I think this is a really fun page. So I love this manga. And I've already read it, you know, a few times already. And I could see myself coming back to it and rereading it again, because how it has sort of a blending of genres in the sense, yes, it's a villainous manga, and it has the otome game trope and whatnot. But I really love how there is deep elements and it has that action side and maybe like a touch of mystery so it has everything and I loved it very very much I cannot wait for volume two I have volume two in my cart to pre-order when I decide to officially do some pre-orders for number three, I had to have at least one favorite on this list. And I'm so thankful I could at least say this one. And that is Haikyuu. And I specifically went with a volume 42. I love the whole series, but no way can I get, yeah, 45 volumes. I kind of just carry all of that. So I went with volume 42 and I actually reread this a little bit again this morning. I love this volume so much. And literally, if there was only one volume of that series I could keep, it would be volume 42 hands down, despite that I really, really love the end a lot. And that would be really hard and I'm sort of like now I'm like Laura why didn't you grab like 42 to the end <laughs> why didn't you grab the rest because the ending is my, one of my favorite parts but when I was rereading this I feel like this volume has deeply been impactful to me and I actually for my birthday I bought this volume quite a few years ago when the series was still ongoing or maybe it wasn't that many years ago but when it was ongoing at the time I wasn't even caught up to this point I hadn't even read the manga yet but I went and read volume 42 and I cried <laughs> I cried. I was like, I can't believe this is happening. Of course, it's going to happen when you read ahead, you know, and you haven't been your only anime only at that point. And so anyway, I was rereading this and I can't really go into reasons why I love this volume so much because it'd be massive spoilers. This begins a shift in the rest of the series of what things happen. I love though, Hinata meets a specific character in a specific place and it was everything. And I feel like it was just an encourager to me to not give up and have fun like that there's joy in learning new things like there's a quote by Hinata that is so great I mean I almost said the character's name I can't tell you who it is but the other character also has like a really pivotal moment for them too and they're questioning Hinata of like why are you doing this aren't you afraid that you're going to forget certain things when it comes to volleyball and Hinata tells them no matter how hard or easy the skill getting good at something new is always fun and I really love his mentality so much and it just reminded 
reminded me of when I face new things and new challenges that getting good at something, learning something new can be a fun experience in itself. It just serves as a great encourager and reminder to me. I actually used to have this volume specifically on my desk facing outward looking at me because I was just so touched by this volume that I was like, it can't just be on my bookcase. It needs to be at my desk where I can see it every day. It's on the bookcase now and I'm really glad I came back to it because it's been a while since I've reread it. It was good. It was so good. So this one I knew for a fact I would like grab volume 42 ASAP though I'm like I should have grabbed volumes you know up to 45 as well because that is so amazing and literally I would be so content just reading the end of Haikyuu because it's just that amazing. I mean the whole series is incredible and amazing but I really love the end so very much. For number four it's a little bit different okay and I am saying the Twisted Wonderland the mini art book that came with the French edition I did do a like unboxing and flip through of this if you're interested and I do have a review of volume one up on this channel as well and it probably sounds weird that like I could have grabbed volumes one through three on my shelf but I thought of time and if I couldn't grab that I would at least grab this because I play the game every day like this is the manga is based off of a game and so I knew that I could see these guys anytime I wanted <laughs> Anytime I wanted, but I feel like being able to flip through this and see. Okay, Ace is not smiling. I need somebody smiling. I would say, and see, here we go, and see them smiling. That it would just really comfort my heart and bring some joy to it. I'm not gonna lie. That was like my biggest motivation. I'm like, I know it's really small, and I'm like, technically, I could have grabbed my Haiku art book as well, but I was like, no, I really want this little mini Twisted Wonderland art book that only has like 32 pages or something because just being able to look at their art when you can't always see it in the game, especially like if you don't have the cards. Like I don't have the card for this. So I don't know the story behind this. Though a friend did tell me when I asked her about it, or she asked me one of the two, you can look at these and I'm like, I could just be happy and content and just look at them. And again, just be really happy because that is why I want like, look at him. Look at him. He's not my favorite character, but I, I love it. I love it. So I feel like this would just bring joy to my heart and really just make me happy to look at it because of like, even just looking at it again even though it's so small I still really really love it like I get this one up riddle he said the characters and he's just he's trying so hard to smile he hardly ever smiles like this at all and so it's just nice seeing this attempt and so I feel like it would bring again a lot of joy to my heart not much else to say about it except for it's really cute it would make me happy for number five this one I knew for certain would be on this list it was the very first one that actually came to mind and that is gazing at the star next door volume one I reread this yesterday and this is just so magical I don't know of any other shoujo manga right now that is just capturing the same feelings that I do when I rewrite when I read this and I reread it yesterday and it was just as sparkly and special and magical as it was the very first time I love it so much and if there's like any shoujo manga that I can recommend that's new I think volume two yeah volume two comes out this month and you're like I just want to start something new and fresh this series is it it is so it is so beautiful it is so good I love the characters I love the blooming romance I love the drama it's not really drama but there's things going on because they were childhood best friends and she has a crush on on her friend and he is a very popular model though he does do a little bit of acting now he's famous he's famous and so she feels like she cannot be with him for a list of reasons which all realistically makes sense for this story but she can't get her feelings under control and the way it ended I'm just like I need volume two I need it to come ASAP I really do because I again I loved reading reading this so incredibly much and I'm just so thankful we have it in English. I never expected to just be head over heels for this. I would be shocked. I know it's still early in the year and a lot of things could release between now and then, but I would be very shocked if this didn't win for my favorite book of the year. Like I don't know of other shoujo manga that are topping the emotions I feel. It truly is something special about this series that I deeply loved and enjoyed and I'm like hands down. I need this so would I need that serotonin boost like this manga is it it is delivering in every single way for me there's nothing bad I could say about it and I hope and pray that it continues that I continue to feel that way with volumes as they keep going on because I love it so very much highly highly would recommend it I definitely want to do a video review of it at some point especially like when we catch up to Japan because there's only maybe like four or five volumes in Japan right now and I I want more I need more and when we catch up in the states it is going to be agony I mean I just saw last night 
actually, that volume four doesn't come out until January of 2025. I was like, that is a wake. I need these to come out like every other month, please. It's just so, so good. So I knew for sure this was actually the very first one that I grabbed that I wanted and have to have. For my honorable mention, I totally miscounted and I feel, I feel conflicted. I feel conflicted. Do I go with the series that is one of my favorites, even though I hardly, I feel like I've hardly talked about it recently, which makes me sad and that's why I need to reread it. Or do I go with the most reread manga in my entire collection? I don't know. I, I don't know. So maybe that'll be my honorable mention and you guys can let me know which one you think I should grab if there was ever a fire of going with the most reread manga in my collection, which I've read six plus times, is Daily Report about my witch senpai, which is currently two volumes, though we got a third volume. We got a third volume. It's coming. Seven seasons were pushed it back so much, so I don't know when it's coming, but this, this is so good. I love it so much. Or should I go with the longer series where I don't know how many volumes I can grab? I think it's what, 24 volumes that are out with 25 coming soon or 26 coming soon. And that is Snow the Red Hair. I absolutely love Shirayuki, the entire cast of characters. Goodness, if we're talking about saving manga, I feel like I'm gonna need to, if I'm saving Shirayuki and the gang in manga form, I gotta save my enamel pins of them because I love them so much. And I'm like, I need to do this series justice more often and talk about it more often. So let me know what you think of which of these that I guess I should save. Cause I'm like, maybe I would just go for both of them. <laughs> maybe I would just go for both of them. But I'm like, I can't hold all of this series. I feel like I just have to pull off random volumes and hope for the best because I'm blanking on the name of the city. But when Shirayuki goes to the snowy town and Shirayuki learns there as a herbalist and such, I love that arc. It's one of my favorite arcs in the series. It's so incredibly good. So yeah, I'll stop rambling. Let me know. Those are all of my picks. I had a lot of fun with this prop, even though I was like, wonder if I can't come up with anything because <laughs> I legit have one of those moments. But I would love to hear from you, friends. What are some manga that you would save in a fire? Again, everybody's safe and you just have that extra time to run and get them. What would you grab? Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.